Hey everybody, Nathan here, Crazy Amazing Designs. Welcome to another vlog headed down to the 2018 West Virginia Christian Endeavor Fall Youth Retreat. So you might notice that we're not in our, in our normal vehicle. We've got a van full of all kinds of goodies. Entering Dodgers County Park. Now that we're here, we can set, set our beds up. Let's get ready for the program to start tonight. Or not. We, we have to make the program. Let's go, Eric. Welcome, everybody, to Dodgers County Park. Woohoo! We've got a whole van full of stuff. Okay, well, let's get unpacked and get set up inside for the se evening session tonight. Thanks so much, everybody. I got the last um, piano stand. I'm headed in. Oh, wow, we got here. talking about suffering with faith. Lots of people in this world suffer without faith, but we're talking about suffering with faith. How when trials come, when struggles come, when hardships come, how we use trials to amplify Christ in our lives. What kind of faith do we have to have even when everything is going wrong in our lives? We have to have hopeful faith and unwavering faith. I said pray and read the Bible and ask for God's help. Holy, there is What a beautiful morning, oh, what a beautiful day. Beautiful morning, oh, what a beautiful day. So we are about to go wake everybody up, right? That's right, tradition. Tradition. It Our started. Our pastor started this a number of years ago, yeah. Roger, and he would go downstairs and he would sing, oh, what a beautiful morning, oh, what a beautiful day. Yeah. I've got a wonderful feeling that everything is going God's way. Yeah, that's and right. And that would be his wake-up call for everybody in the morning. Yeah. So we're gonna go do that. Let's carry on the tradition since he's not able to be here this year. I got a wonderful feeling Everything's going God's way The annual West Virginia Christian Endeavor Retreat. So last night a bunch of the kids and I slept in our hammocks. Under the light of a million stars, I'm looking up just to see how far they go. They seem to go on forever. Just like the love that you have for me, it's been around long before I breathe a breath. Lord, you put me together. Hallelujah. I am made by you, and I know who I am because of who you are. Let your hope be the strength in us. Take hold, we want to live in your love. Let your hope
In every four years, uh, Christian Endeavor has a world conference, and this past summer, the conference was in San Diego, California, and one of the things that we did at the conference was a small group time. And one of the biggest feedbacks we got from the entire week-long event was, wow, we really love the small group time. So our first scripture we're gonna look at is Ephesians 6.11. In what ways can the armor of God protect us from evil? Romans 16.20 says, the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath your feet. So if God has already crushed Satan, then how does the enemy have so much power in this world? Satan has power because we give it to him. He just loves me this Sunday. Great. I'll listen to it later. What kind of faith do we have to have even when it all goes wrong in our lives? We have to have hopeful faith and unwavering faith. I said pray and read the Bible and ask for God's help. Romans 5, 3 through 5. Is it important for us to undergo hardships to be used to our maximum potential by God? I said yes, it's important to go through hardships because that's when you see God working with you and helping you the most. Uh, through every example in the Bible, um, you have to go through your hardships. What do you think of this quote? Suffering isn't an obstacle to us being used by God, but it is an opportunity for us to be used by God like never before. A suffering in our eyes is seen as an opportunity in God's eyes because it shows His power and not only to us, but um, through us to other people. Suffering can be looked as a growth point. In school, we don't like uh, new things, but those are the areas that stretch us. And if we know that God's in charge, when those new opportunities come, then we can say, God's planning for me to do something a lot more. He's got a lot of confidence in me. People are looking at us as Christians and when we're going through suffering, and they see how we react to that suffering. What'd you think of our small group time? We like it? We like it? Awesome, awesome. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Okay, Rice Krispie Treats, let's see here. There were nine Rice Krispie Treats in this bag. Let's see who won. Uh, see, Tannis guessed 12, that's not bad. Uh, Jesse guessed 100, Caitlin guessed, guessed eight, uh, Michael 11, Connor seven, Elena 13, oh, Grayson nine. Okay, who wants some more Rice Krispie Treats? Jesse 15. Caitlin, 11, 12. There were 10 in this one. Nine, and 11, 13, 15. Oh, Michael, 10. Congratulations, Michael. For me, thank you. Okay, oh, Hershey Kisses. Who wants Hershey Kisses? Josie, 17. Uh, Michael, guess how many Michael guests were in here? Zero. Um, I'm just, I'm not seeing anywhere anybody close. I mean, Tan Nanis is probably between one and a hundred. Is that it? Oh, oh, Connor, 28, perfect. 
Okay, how many uh, how many uh, caramel bars do you think are in here? Any you guys seem like you seem to think there's eight. So this is the part of the day that everybody looks forward to every year. And what part is that? The poster contest. That's absolutely right. The most fun part, the time where our challengers uh, come and uh, explain their posters. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about here. A number of years ago, we started the poster contest. Every year at our fall retreat, we invite students to bring and design and bring a poster, which has several things, which has a main theme on it, has a theme song on it, a theme scripture on it, and then four daily themes. So each daily theme also has a scripture that goes with it. And these three posters are used for our events throughout the year and it's really been awesome the last few years getting to use posters that the kids are actually making because wouldn't you much rather invite your friends to an event where you are responsible for the core of the event and you get to learn about things that are meaningful to you. My uh, theme was following the faith and the main scripture is 1 Peter 2.21. But I went over Old Testament superheroes the song being Run Devil Run. My theme is the seventh day he rested, and my first verse is Psalms 46.10. So my um, theme is Almighty God, and the um, theme's verse is Psalm 97.4. Why did the ice cream truck break down? Because of the rocky road. Oh, that was a good one. Round of applause for that. Very nice, very nice. Yeah! Ah, I didn't see you come in. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Lost and dying souls are everywhere And tell them about his love and about God's living word Just tell them Father God, thank you for bringing us out of the grave and into your glorious day, from death to life in your Son. When we look into the mirror, when we look into ourselves, some of the things I think we need to see is we need to see ourselves as God sees us. Because if we don't understand that, then we miss everything. God, you're so good. You're so good to Thank you so much everyone for coming. We are going to gather in the back with our friendship circle.